Come get your morning coffee. Oh, 69 in dolphins. Some nice protein in there. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> well, your gear is packed nice and tidy in there. Well, I'm driving Darren's car around because I forgot my little micro USB chip for the GoPro. But, went back to the apartment, got it. Gonna head back to the boat now. And, I think there's some big fish in stock to be caught today. I got a good feeling about this. Woo wee! Question is, do you think it's gonna fire up first try? <laughs> Please, fish gods and swordfish gods. And Yes, the swordfish gods should. I'm gonna pray to the gods of the two stroke. I'll be impressed if this fires up first try. It wanted to fire up. It'll fire up this time. All right, come on, baby, come on. <laughs> All right, ready to rock and roll. We're ready. some super glassy conditions today. buddy Darren and we are going out for swordfish that's the main goal right after we get some gas we're gonna run north of Floyd's wall probably gonna drop for swordfish there for two or three hours depending if we get any bites or not and then normally I would run to the Isla Mirada humps but today I got a little something special brewing I hit up my boys over at FloridaFishingSpots.com and asked them if they have any deep drop maps for sale because they don't list them on their website. But it turns out if you email them and ask them for deep drop spots, they have those maps available. And I got a bunch of good looking spots out at the uh, Key Largo humps. So we're going to try those instead of the Isla Mirada humps this time. See what we can get on out there. See if we can hook up on some live bait here. Master Darren at the net. Nothing. We'll get him. Some live bait would be a great addition to our uh, our bait options. Oh, that's one sight. 
The fog over there in the trees just looks awesome. What a helpful little helper. <laughs> Time to fill her on up. She's a thirsty one. <laughs> this is the painful along, part. Baby. Chugging along. You're filling that hole and uh, I'll fill this hole. She likes to be filled, huh? Yeah, if, if we can fill both her holes at the same time, she's happiest. It's a sexy looking boat. We're out here on the reef's edge. It's looking beautiful. Got about a 30 mile run out to our sword fishing deep drop spot. If we see any birds or something on the way, we'll troll for them. We'll see what we can get on here. So beautiful out here. We're about 20 miles offshore right now. We're like two thirds of the way there. It's the spot. That's a pretty cool little barnacle stick. Floating out here in the middle of nowhere. The destination has been reached. Crystal clear purple water. Electric rod is hooked up and ready for some action. Bless thy squid. Good fortune. Ooh. Let there be light. These things glow for days. All right. Then I just need to crimp this end into this piece. Inserting the battery to the light. This is where things start to get exciting. All right, I guess first thing would be to drop the weight in the water. There we go. We have like, what is that? Eight feet a liter to a nice flashing light which then goes down. Got another glow stick and then we got the squid. Let's chuck that squid out there. All right, let's drop the puppy down. Oh, it's going straight down. That six pound weight is perfect. We are in 1,370 feet of water. It's a long way down. We have two harpoons ready for battle. Ready for them. Ready for the monster. How deep are we now? 165 meters down already. It's got about another 100. 120 meters to go. 
You should be on the bottom any second now. 290 meters. 300 meters. Oh, and we're on the bottom. Gonna raise it like 70 feet off the bottom. Hopefully that chum block will bring some mai to the boat. Yeah, and every like five or 10 minutes, I'll just drop it back to the bottom and then pick it up. 70 feet off the bottom again. Drop it on back down to the bottom. Well, we are on the ground once again. Yeah, I'd say 15, 20 more minutes. Like you said, and then, and then there's a spot on the wall I really want to hit up. Maybe we'll get lucky and hook up right now though. Come on, Rod Tip. We'll bring her up from the depths and then we'll move further south on the on the wall we are going to go to a better part of the wall in theory I think that was a big old manta ray. Oh, it's right in front of us. Oh, sunfish, huge sunfish. Think it'll eat that? I don't know what they eat. Oh, I wish we could get some underwater footage of that thing. Let's get back on the swordfish. Get back. We made it to the promised lands. We're back in action. Down she goes. It's just going and going and going. 330 meters already. Should hit the bottom soon. 1,480 feet. Oh, we're on the bottom. There we go. I'll bring it up. We're gonna move into a little bit of sh more shallow water. Last chance at swordfish. All right, the same game. Sword fishing time is over. Damn, I don't want to bring it up. Admitting defeat is a horrible thing. Ugh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta.
Is it a balloon or a buoy? Looks like a buoy. Yeah. No, it doesn't want to fit. <laughs> Oops. All right, back on track. We're at the promised lands of the humps. I really hope that our chum can uh, get some mahi up to the boat. Yo, marking tons of fish on the bottom. We'll fish the swordfish rig while we get the other one ready, which is down in the cabin. Maybe we'll get lucky and a huge snapper or something will grab a hold of the squid. Down it goes. On the bottom in 315 feet of water. Got a chum slate going. Got the deep drop rod down. Woo! There was just a big hit on here. It got off. Dang. I think we're stuck on the bottom. I think we're legitimately stuck on the bottom. I let it have too much slang. Yes, it's off. Yeah. All right, sweet. What a relief. Yeah, I could put that on one. Nice thread herring chunk. Then we'll have some of our barracuda chunk. Little squiddy chunk. All right. Christmas tree. Yeah, Christmas tree. That's exactly what it looks like. Stinky barracuda. Oh, yeah. I think we just got a hit. It's 100% time to put a fish on the boat. Send her on down. I would agree with you there. All right, try number like 20. <laughs> I think having these big squid on here is the key. Oh, that was a hit. All right, thread herring it is. That's on the menu now. We just had a huge hit, man. I think I lost the rig. Looks like the mono got cut off. Shoot. All right, Darren, let's see your rig do some work for us. It's probably gonna break. We'll see, right? There it goes. If the weight does break off, hopefully the fish stays on the hook. That's That would be worth a lost weight. Hardly though. <laughs> I'm feeling a strike is imminent when we're marking fish. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on. Oh. No, it broke again. Did it really? It broke. Shoot. Oh, I broke off. Damn it. I think I might have to put some wire on these vertical jigs. 
Damn, we, we've lost a lot of fish already. All right, this is our last hope right here. 300 pound test this time. That's such a sexy jump slate. Yeah, there's a big old shark right here. Dude, that was cool. Yeah. He's a juicy one. That's so cool, dude. He just wants to say hi. Oh, dang. He smashed over and grabbed. He wants to eat the GoPro. He wants it so bad, dude. Oh, he's eating it. Yes! Yes, we finally have a fish on! Looks decent too. Oh shit. No, it popped off! No! Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! 
All right, Darren. That's you've been making a lot of rigs up there. Keep losing them. Let's go back to this spot with the with the monster and catch him this time. <laughs> Hopefully, this small weight will get down there. Yeah, it's going down real slow. Oh boy. How many ounces is that? Six, one, one 16 ounces. Wasted all those six pound weights for nothing. Come on. Go back for it. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Are we officially calling this? I think it's time. Sun's almost down. The sun is just about down. <laughs> we're setting sun. But we're not giving up! We're gonna find some food one way or the other. We're gonna throw the anchor and look for fish on the reef's edge. <laughs> this has been a full day of fishing. We still have a little bit of more fire in our cannons. And yeah. We're gonna see what, see what we can do, right? See what we can do. We gotta find them. Where are they at? Where, where are they at? Nice. Yeah, we're marking not much on the bottom, but there's a tiny bit of fish. Chunk of red herring, mono. That is a killer sunset. We need to get the yellow tail behind the boat. No, I'd say that's a massive pile of yellow tail right there. On top or on the bottom? Right on top. 10 to 20 feet below us. It's in quiet. Oh, and you're on? Oh, yes, yes. Get some chum out there. Yes. Should I get the net or you think you'll, you'll be fine? Keep her yellow tail? A little man. A little mangrove. He's a keeper. Yeah, I say we do. Our first piece of meat on the boat. Marking a ton of fish under the boat. She got oh, there. Just a big old grunt. Big old grunt. Oh man. On here. <laughs> see what I got. No. Nice man, dude. Yeah. A juicy mangrove snapper. Uh, yes. <laughs> How's yours looking over there? It looks pretty juicy too. He's a keeper, right? Oh yeah. Perfect hook right through the lip. Alright, dude, I love mangrove snapper, so this is great. They're actually one of my favorite snapper. That's a solid one right there. Still on there? Oh, yeah. It sounds meaty, whatever it is. Oh, grunt, grunt, grunt. Oh, yeah. Feels good, whatever it is. Let's see. I think so. 
Oh, uh, and um, croaker. Grunt. Grunt, I mean, yeah. No grunt. Oh uh, no. I'll throw him back, but I think if we catch another one, we should send him down. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Oh yeah. Nice man. Big old mangroves. On squid? Um, yeah, on squid. Oh, he's a... <laughs> He's a stud, stud muffin for a mangrove. Give me my hook, buddy. Well, he doesn't want to let go of the squid. Yep, a grunt. I don't know, what are you thinking? We Do we send them down? We could hook up on a freaking massive grouper if we do. Out there. That's a nice mangrove. Yeah, looks real nice. Oh wait, that's a grouper. A little blacky. <laughs> Yeah, like, a little black grouper. He's fighting interest. If he if there's a little black grouper down there, I bet there's there's a juicy yeah, one too. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's nice. Oh, I got something on my rod. Mangrove? Oh, a juicy one too. Sweet. Looks yeah. like you're beating Ooh, his butt. Nice Another nice mangrove. Ooh, yeah. Juicy. Juicy patushi. <laughs> that got me wet. It's fun. Yeah, he's a fatty. Thick. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yellow tail. Yeah, he's, he's a nice one. He's got an interesting pattern going on. He's pretty. He's pissed. Maybe another yellowtail? Oh, what is that? A big old ground. Yeah. Oh! This squid just squirted all over my shirt and it's really cold. He's got eight though. Yeah, man. It's squid. Squiddle ink. Oh, is that a porgy? These are good pan, pan fried. He's going to get a go back though. That looks like something decent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something that's taking drag. Now we're talking. Don't let it pop. God, I'm, I'm scared this is gonna pop off. Yeah, baby him in. Don't let him go for the rocks though. That's probably a grouper. That looks like a grouper. That's a... Oh! Dang it! Man, that was exciting. What kind of break was it? 
cut. <sighs> Clean cut. This feels like a tiny, tiny grunt. You gotta look, look at this dog. <laughs> Little grunt. I mean, I don't know about you, but that looks like a good bait. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Oh. Get it. Is that hook set? Oh, it came off. Get it. Set that hook. Oh, oh it pops. It's still on? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm on too. Nice, I got another porgy just in time. <laughs> the last person that wore this is Beata. She's a little thinner than you, man. <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> is that tight tight? No, uh, no, it's, it's fine. All right, perfect. I don't know. It's kind of bumping its head like a shark almost, but it could just be a big grouper. Yeah, it could have been a grouper running along the rocks if it's all messed up like this. Oh, well. <sighs> yeah. Send, down another one. Send down another one. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, you got the belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Taking you for a little ride. Right. <sighs> I'm going to get him back in. Bring it on, shark. Or whatever you are. <gasps> yeah! Finally, having Mother Nature tugging on the other end. It's about time. He's a big boy, huh? Wow. Huge. What do you want to do with him? We should probably cut it right by his mouth. He's so upset. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. There he goes. That was a beast, man. Two monster time. Hey, he pulled the hook. Oh, the hook pulled? Curly cue. That's funny. <coughs> wow. Oh yeah, dude.
Oh yeah, I think I might have something good here. Like really good. By far the biggest thing that I've... Should I grab the net? Let's see. I don't think so. I think I should be able to whip it in the boat. Like a good size, huh? Oh yeah, get, you want to get the net? What is it? Or? Net, net, net. It's a red grouper. Keeper? Um, we'll find out. I don't think so. He might be. Let's let's measure him. He's got to be what twenty four. Red grouper, I think, are 20 inches, but I'll double check. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. There's grouper down there. Mm -hmm. Let's get him measured. He's like 19, 19 and a half inches. So he's a no-go? Yeah, he's a no-go. He gets freedom. Yeah, he's, he's definitely pretty though. All right, he's not quite 20. So we're gonna be letting him go. <laughs> he, he saw the water and jumped to his feet with grace. Oh yeah, I'm on again. Really violent head shake, like a grunt almost. Or a mangrove snapper? Or a trigger fish? <laughs> I'll just name off all the fish I know. Grunt. Yep, another grunt. Oh, I'm on something. It feels, it doesn't feel like a grunt. It feels like a yellowtail. Is it a yellowtail grunt? It's a grunt. I'm starting to lie to myself at this point. Ah, he stuck me. Damn it. He was a smooth fighter though. He came up real smooth. Something on the uh, yeah, we got something uh, on the float. Let's see what it is. Might be bait. You want to get the net ready? Oh no, is that a shark? Oh, he let go of it. Yeah. Oh. Bummer, bro. We're about to cook some burgers. Mmm. That's some blue cheese in there. We should wait until it's sizzling hot. Yeah, we need that. The shark is messing with the chum bag. Oh, crap. Is he attacking the engine? Yeah, he just swam off. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, that was cool. You know that one? Mm-hmm. That's smart. He just bit right into the chum bag. Alright, let's do this. It's a good looking burger. Hee-ho! Darren's got to do all the hard manual labor.
will be good for bait tomorrow. Yeah, I see them all. Throw the cast net right on top of them. <laughs> Money shot, man. Money shot. Some fatties in there. Phew, it's twelve AM and I'm pooped. Last fish. Beauty. Do, 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 do. 120 days. Ooh, Um, I think I got it, dog. I'm gonna do that in a second, yeah. On a little flat spot.
Yeah. I already had one. I'm not going to hold one. Cheers. Cheers, dog. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm.